This text is so helpful during an election year, right? <laughs> it's like the temperature. It's not, you know, it's like what it may be like on a four right now, but it's like, it's like every couple of weeks, it's just turning up, not five, six, seven, you know? And before we know it, it's going to be like full-blown 10. And there's going to be all these, all these Christian people spewing venom on the internet because we've somehow gotten it twisted in our mind that we think some politician is going to usher in the kingdom of God. And only Jesus, the King of Kings, will bring his kingdom. So look, it's good for us to have well thought out, intellectual, passionate positions, political positions. And it's good and it's right for us to have deep convictions about who we're going to vote for and to advocate for that. But it's not okay for us to demonize people that have been created in the image of the infinitely valuable God. It's just not okay. It's just, it's not okay the way of Jesus. It's the way of the world. It's the way of the flesh. And Jesus said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds, that they glorify your Father in heaven. Listen, I mean, I've got wants for our country, just like you do. Like I've, got, I've got passions, and I've got desires, and I'm praying for particular ends. But listen, I am not afraid if they don't come through. Why? Because my hope is not in this world. And neither is yours, friends. The Bible says that we're aliens and strangers. This world is not our home. Our world is the city to come. And only King Jesus will bring that. So we don't have to freak out what happens this election year. And you don't have to demonize somebody that holds a different position than you do. And you don't have to have all the answers, friends. But what you do have to do is love your enemies. So here's the question you need to write down this morning. Punch into your phone. you got to get this. Here's the question. That in this election season... Does the tone of my communication convey love?